Hello guys, come back to Mason African Motives, uh, still on industrial electronics and for uh, there is a semiconductor diodes. We have got the question paper that you're going to focus on. That is uh, April 2021, where we are given the question three uh, for paper 3.1 was to explain reverse saturation current of a diode. What is uh, uh, the reverse saturation current of a diode in this case? Also here, we have got some of the properties that you're gonna consider that it is a current which is produced uh, due to the small reverse voltage when PN junction diode is reverse biased. In a reverse biased characteristic uh, of a PN junction, that is the current increases in the range of a nano amp silicon and a micro amp for a germanium uh, PN uh, junction diode. All right, so these are the properties uh, that we are to consider uh, in this case when we are referring to the uh, reverse saturation current. Then on 3.2, indicate whether the following statements are true or false by writing only true or false next to the question uh, that you are given. All right, so that is uh, the first part. The purpose of generating free electrons, the process sorry, of generating uh, free electrons is called covalent bond. All right, uh, is it true? Uh, this is actually false. Remember that uh, the process of generating free electrons is called uh, donor doping. So that is a, a condition where we are dealing with uh, donor doping in this case. All right, uh, 3.22, acceptor doping is the process of generating holes. All right, so this is actually true. All right, so this is true. So here we say this is false. All right, 3.23, reverse bias occurs when the external voltage source in is connected in such a way that a positive terminal is connected to the N type. So this is actually true. Positive is connected to the N type, the negative to the P type, that is a reverse bias. If it is positive to the P type, that is a forward bias. So this is actually very true. 3.24, for large reverse current, a normal PN diode uh, is used instead of a Zener diode. This is false. A Zener diode is actually the one that is used for reverse uh current in this case. So this is actually uh, false. A normal diode operates in a, in a forward bias in this case. A normal uh, diode operates in a forward bias. So meaning to say it must be forward biased, but uh, for it to be reverse biased, that is a Zener diode. All right. So this is actually false. A Zener diode can be used as a voltage regulator. Yes, it can be used uh, for voltage regulation. 3.24, a negative resistance region in a tunnel diode is the is a decrease in the terminal voltage resulting in, a, in an increase in the diode current. All right, so this is uh, actually false. What we know is that in a tunnel diode, an increase in the, term, in, in the terminal voltage, it must be an increase in the terminal uh, voltage which is uh, being caused, uh, which results in a reduction in diode current. So an increase of the uh, terminal voltage, the increase of the terminal voltage results in a reduction in the uh, diode current. That is what we know. So meaning to say this is false the way that it is given here. All right, on uh, question 3.3, uh, 3, we are asked now to calculate the forward current of a diode if it has a formal resistance of 300 milliohms at room temperature. All right, so we need to calculate, uh, in this case, the forward current. All right, so we are from forward resistance. All right, since we are given the resistance, remember that from forward resistance, we know that it is equivalent to KT over uh, QI like this, where we have got uh, the Boltzmann constant, uh, the temperature uh, in kelvins, uh, the charge, electron charge, and the forward current. So we are supposed to find this I in this case, all right, because we have got uh, the resistance in this case at uh, 
300 uh, milliohms. That is at room temperature of uh, 33 degrees Celsius, which we convert to uh, kelvins by adding 273. We obtain our value in kelvins in this case, which is going to give us 306 kelvin. Uh, so we can make I the subject. In this case, we want to make I the subject. So what can we do? We can simply uh, cross multiply. So that means we are going to have R times Q times I, which is equal to one times KT, which is going to give us KT in this case. So to find I, we are going to divide by this product of uh, R and Q. So if we divide R and Q, uh, R and Q both sides, we are going to remain with the current, which is our forward current. So our forward current is equal to KT over RQ, where K, like I said, is the Boltzmann's constant, which is, uh, we are given from our formula sheet, this constant, we are given from our formula sheet. So I is going to be the constant is given as 1,38, times 10 to the exponent of negative 23. Uh, that is measured in joules per, ke per Kelvin. That is why our temperature is in Kelvins in this case. All right, times the temperature also in Kelvins, which is going to be 306. All right, everything over R, which is our resistance. Uh, that is uh, our forward resistance in this case of 300 milliohms. So that's 300 times 10 to the exponent of minus three, four milliohms times uh, Q, which is the, our charge, our electron charge. We are also given this in our formula sheet, which is given as 1,6 times 10 to the exponent of negative 19 uh, coulombs. All right, so this is going to give us uh, the current. So our current is going to be something like uh, 0, 0,08, five uh six eight nine nine and so on and so on so to three decimal places that will be zero eight uh six all right amps so this is what you're going to have uh in amps in this case if you want to convert to milliamps you multiply uh, this answer by a thousand your answer is going to be in milliamps so it depends with the units of uh the unit that you're going to use is it in milliamps or you simply use uh, the amps as it is. All right, so this is what we had, 11 marks for this. So these are the typical questions, and be very careful on how to attempt these questions, uh, guys. So that's it from Amazon African Motives. Till we meet again.